Three and a half years after Jeffrey Epstein died, no one has gotten to the bottom of what happened that day, and there has been no accountability for wow. it. Wow. The only people ever punished for the grotesque malfeasance surrounding Epstein's death were two low-level guards who fell asleep on duty that night. You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bet. Bah! It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you drop that in the comments, man. If that's what you want this year. Elevation. But we back with another TikTok, man. We got conspiracy theory, TikTok, scary TikToks, Jeffrey Epstein. And what's going on with that situation has been quiet lately. I ain't too familiar, but we're going to get into it. You know what I'm saying? I, I heard stuff floating around. Make sure you do your own research, like I always say. And we got some scary stuff in here too, man. So we got a mixture of things, man. But if you make it to the end of this one, I need you to drop real one for real in the comments. That's for the real ones, though. Also, I got a TikTok playlist if you into this type of stuff, man. I got a whole playlist you can just click here, watch and chill. How your mind blown. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's poppin'? Let's get it. People are still trying to keep their names hidden from Jeffrey Epstein's list. But we do have some information about them. So you've probably seen that more than 150 people have been named as associates of Epstein. Bear wow. in mind, it doesn't automatically mean they've done anything wrong. But right. the likes of Stephen Hawking and Michael Jackson are on there. And there are even more to come. But two people are still appealing being named. One is referred to as Doe 110. All we know is it's someone whose name and association with Epstein has been widely publicized by the media. Then there's another, Doe 107, Doe. who is a woman who's arguing she faces a risk of physical harm in her country of residence. Wow. She's been asked to provide more information to the judge. Uh oh. Terminates between dancing and pointing out women to Epstein and Trump gestures to one and appears to say to Epstein, look at her back there, she's hot. In the video, it is crystal clear. You can see Jeffrey Epstein right up next to Donald Trump, and the two of them together are gawking and groping young women. Wow. And frankly, it's just appalling. What were the rules for the staff that worked on Jeffrey Epstein's island? According to a 58-page list of rules written for Epstein's staff by Ghislaine Maxwell, who was found guilty of trafficking women and girls in December 2021, the staff were instructed to see nothing, hear nothing, and say nothing. A former wow. housekeeper on the island stated that the staff were treated badly by the couple and that they were very degrading. In 2005, the staff manual was entered into evidence at Maxwell's trial and stated, remember that you see nothing, hear nothing, say nothing, except wow. to answer a question directed at you. Other rules in the manual stated, unless otherwise instructed, never disclose Mr. Epstein or Mrs. Maxwell's activities or whereabouts to anyone. Each mm. of Epstein's cars was instructed to have more than three quarters of a tank of petrol and always have $100 left in the vehicle. The staff mm. were instructed to never have any items showing in their pockets and were also forbidden from chewing gum or using cell phones. The house phone was also expected to be answered after three rings or less. The wow. staff were banned from using phrases such as you bet, I don't know, and no problem. If they were ever criticized by guests, they were told to reply with it was completely my fault and i will make changes immediately mm. they was running a tight ship who do you think killed it as you uh, step right into a library who fucking knows <laughs> who fucking knows i mean the cameras were off who knows mm. they probably said it in an assassin who fucking strangled him and then made it look like it was some kind of a suicide attempt mm. yeah wow i mean it's pretty obvious that that's what they did Wow. Yeah. I mean, Michael Baden, the autopsy doctor from the HBO series, yeah. he uh, investigated the, the autopsy. He said the, the, the contusions, the, the ligature marks on his neck were uh, indicative of someone being strangled. He also said the break of the bones wow. or the type of break that happens when someone's being strangled, not when someone's being hung. When Whoa. you're hung, it's your body weight that is hanging you, right? So right. it's usually on the upper side of your neck because you're like, your weight is hanging you down. But right. this was down on the bottom of his neck where he's getting fucking strangled by somebody. And the, the bones in his neck were broken, Whoa. which is what happens when you get strangled and doesn't happen when you get hung. Who has Whoa. Jeffrey Epstein's- Black book? Black book. FBI. 
But who? That is, mm. that, that, I mean, there's- Oh, that's under direct control of the director of the FBI. Just like the manifesto from the Nash, Nashville school shooting yes. of the Catholic school. Yeah. We still haven't seen that, right? Mm. It's not the Nashville police or PD saying, we don't want this out. The FBI airmailed into that operation and said, this is not getting out. Because mm. they do that because they, this is another government gangster operation. All these local law enforcement communities get funding from the DOJ and FBI for right. local programs. And if you don't cooperate, you're not Lose getting it. your million dollars for this. And you're mm. not getting your, and that's a lot of money to these local districts. Wow. That's how they play the game. That's why you don't have a black book. Or the so, but the black book, it's not just sitting. I mean, that's, that's, that's Hoover power times 10. Mm. And, and to me, that's a thing I think President Trump should run on. On day one, roll out the black book. <laughs> No. And not just that. On day one, roll out all of the text messaging communications we, we were told were deleted. On mm. day one, play the rest of the video of the pipe bomber. On day, you know, he need, one of the reforms I talk about in Government Gangsters is you need a central node to be continuously declassifying. This is another thing they do. They overclassify. Over and I'm telling you, as a former number two in the IC, mm. they overclassify 50% of the stuff there to protect the deep state. Oh, no, you can't see that. Nothing to see here. Gina was a master at it, of doing it. And we still haven't seen half of the Russiagate report that we wrote. Still under lock and key. On how the ICA was originally constructed. We, went, we put 10,000 man hours against John Brennan's team that did it. And we found out why they came up with their bogus conclusion. But we couldn't sell it to the world mm. because we couldn't talk about it. And the government gangsters came in and buried it. All wow. of these things, there needs to be a continuing central power, whether it's the White House or offsite, that says every request that comes in, just right out the door, as long as it's not a major threat to national security. That's real. Epstein is the predator who was preying upon intelligent people, wealthy people. There's pictures and videos of the entire Clinton family with Epstein. There's pictures of Donald with, Trump absolutely. dancing with Jeffrey Epstein. And then you claiming know, he never knew who he and, was. And I'm not mm. defending Bill Clinton. I'm not defending Bill Gates. Oh. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, I mean, I, you can't make that up. Such I'm, a ridiculous I'm sorry, can you explain Stephen Hawking? Stephen Hawking was frequenting the island. Have and, you seen the memes? I've seen the memes. What do you make of those? I mean, disturbing are these people taking part in all the parties That's we don't know what happened to this stuff took us out of the way for they snorkeling by Epstein Island Did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? Let's talk about it. Jeffrey Epstein had allegedly attempted suicide once before, a couple weeks before he was found dead in his prison cell. His cellmate at the time, 52-year-old Nick Tardiglione, who was a crooked cop who allegedly murdered four people, was wow. the one that Epstein claimed tried to attack him that day. He went on record and said that it wasn't a suicide attempt. He claimed that this guy had tried to murder him in his cell, but Nick and his attorney stated that that wasn't true and he was eventually cleared by jail officials. But what's interesting is that after all of this went down, after Epstein was dead and the trial against Nick was proceeding, he and his attorneys requested the video surveillance footage from that day so that they could show that Nick had good character. They were claiming that on that day, Nick had actually attempted to help resuscitate Jeffrey Epstein. Okay. But they were told by the prison system that the footage, once again, like the other footage we just talked about, was gone. Keep in mind that his lawyers requested this footage two days after the incident occurred. So two days after Epstein's suicide attempt, Nick and his attorney team requested to have that footage saved, but it still disappeared. So after this, a judge in New York requested that the government find the missing footage. Right. And several days later, the federal government said, oh, we do have the footage. But then fast forward a little bit later, 
the government went back on their claims and said that the footage was completely gone and it had been deleted because of a clerical error. So this is the second set of missing video clips from all of Jeffrey Epstein's time in prison. Mm. So after Epstein took his own life, obviously stuff like hashtag Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself and stuff like that took over the internet. And at the time, the mayor of New York himself, Bill de Blasio, had something to say about all this. This is a quote from Bill de Blasio. Something doesn't fit here. It just doesn't make sense that the highest profile prisoner in America, wow. you know, someone forgot to guard him. In addition, Jane Doe number right. 15, she went on the record in November of 2019 after Epstein took his own life and she alleged that she had been sexually assaulted by him years earlier. She wore a bracelet featuring the phrase Epstein didn't kill himself to a press conference, which possibly indicated that she herself believed in the theory. Then there's this interesting clip from Amy Robach of ABC News. I've had the story for three years. I've had this interview with Virginia Roberts. We would not put it on the air. Um, first of all, I was told, who's Jeffrey Epstein? No one knows who that is. This is mm. a stupid story. Um, then the palace found out that we had her whole allegations about Prince Andrew and threatened us a million different ways. Um, we were so afraid we wouldn't be able to interview Kate and Will say, oh, that we that they also quashed the story. She told me everything. She had pictures. She had everything. It was mm. unbelievable what we had. Clinton, we had everything. Wow. Do I think he was killed? A hundred percent. Yes, I do. Because you want he made his whole living blackmailing people. There were a lot of men in those planes, a lot of men who visited that island, a lot of powerful men who came into that apartment. This stuff is really crazy. The Epstein list is here! Who got a crazier naughty list? Santa Claus or Epstein? Now apparently the list came online and then was deleted like minutes after. But we gonna get to the bottom! We gonna find out who all the are. They said Stephen Hawking on the list. Look at this. Come on, man. So there was a list with about 200 names and it was all private, but now the list has finally come to light. A lot of high profile names are on that list. If you don't know about the, the Epstein Island, it's this island where uh, Satan goes. Kind of help us analyze all of this. Well, what does this mean for the Jeffrey Epstein story? For the story? What, they about to make a movie? Oh, that would actually be a good movie. Where the list at? Where's the list? I don't want right. to see none of my heroes on that list. I don't want to see Denzel Washington, Black Panther. That Clinton, Black former Panther. President Bill Clinton, may have had with Jeffrey Epstein. I already know he on the list. You could tell by his smile he on that list. Show us the list! Batman, if you on that list, I swear to God. <laughs> Batman. Wasn't Jeffrey Epstein like a billionaire? Because he got he was given so much money from so many wealthy people, and it's like for what? Mm. I guess he was considered a financial advisor or like an investor. What did he do? And who killed him? Who killed Jeffrey Epstein? Well, that's a whole another thing. I watched the whole interview with his brother or something. It was like everything you could think of for that to feel completely like set up happened. Cameras are off, mm. guards are asleep. They moved the prisoners out of right. the cell block right after. Like they moved his body when they shouldn't have moved his body. Like all mm. this crazy sh that you're just like, you'd be like, well, why do they do all this stuff? Mm -hmm. Like normally when someone, you know, is killed in a prison, supposed to stay there until like someone comes to look at it, take pictures, but like they moved right. it right away to like the war. It's, it's, it's just like, you hear all this sh and you're like, what the f It's like the most straightforward, we're hiding this kind of, <laughs> stuff if what his brother is saying is true and i'm i'm assuming that he's probably tried to figure all these things out and talk to all these people and get all this information and it's just kind of like what's going on it's devastating what happened but it's kind of not fascinating but intriguing to know of like this kind of stuff this sounds three and a half years after jeffrey epstein died no one has gotten to the bottom of what happened that day and there has been no accountability for wow. it wow the only people ever punished for the grotesque malfeasance surrounding epstein's death were two low-level guards who fell asleep on duty that night both pleaded guilty to falsifying government records really but last year with no real explanation an obama appointed judge dropped all charges against both of them one of the guards may still work for the federal government as for getting to the bottom of what happened, despite many promises from many various officials, neither the FBI nor the Justice Department's Office of Inspector General has ever issued a report explaining how Jeffrey Epstein died. Not what? So once again, three and a half years after one of the most widely covered deaths of our time, there's still no answer to it, and there's still no accountability. Why is that? Bro, this stuff sounds like a movie. There appears to be. Oh my god. He snuck onto the you know island. He said, What's up? 
As I ran away from security, I saw this. Oh no, they got me. I need to run. I need to run. Now security was right behind me, going full speed in my direction. Oh no! This dude is on the island, wilding. I can't exactly understand what they're saying, but they're screaming at me the whole time. He's trying to get some content. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm out of here. Come on. We made it down here. Once we get to the beaches. How didn't they catch him yet? A brand new pool right here. We seeing this? Security behind you. How didn't they catch him yet? Gotta keep going. Good training for this day. Security. He's coming. As I began to run away, Pasha notices this, pulls the drone in, and begins zooming over on his jet ski to pick me up, right as I unknowingly approach a cliff. Uh oh. And at this moment, it looked like I had oh. no choice but to jump. I'm going down. You can't, it's not coming down. I'm going into the water. Pasha needs to pick me up. Oh, security. Dang it. Okay, we're in the water. Security, just out there. I'm swimming as fast as I can. Waiting for Pasha to pick me up. Come on, Pasha. Shoot me if you dare. I'm in international waters. What are you hiding, Epstein? What are you hiding, Epstein? What, what are if you it was hiding? a shark out there? Uh, waiting on Pasha on the getaway. What There's if Pasha it was a the shark out there? There's my getaway jet ski. We're getting out of here. I escaped. <laughs> All right, we're making out. Give me a tip. Give me, give me a hand. All right, easy. They thought they could get me. No. Grab the handles. Uh, all right, go, 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 go! We escaped with all the footage! I'm touched! I breathe there! You suck! But as we zoomed back and made our way to the airport, I saw this. I think we're being followed by a Fed right now. Oh, yeah. About that. Oh. Now that Epstein Island is becoming a resort, let's talk about the island's resort? dark history. The island was owned by a billionaire named Jeffrey Epstein. Now, Jeffrey Epstein was basically super villain level evil, and his island was essentially his super lair. Now, Jeffrey owned this island for about two decades. And wow. during those two decades, he would use the island to traffic girls who were not of age, hold them captive, and do all sorts of unspeakable things to them. Now, this situation was absolutely horrible for these girls, and it was made even worse since they were on an island in the middle of the ocean mm. and essentially had no hope for escape. Now, Jeffrey was friends with many celebrities and other billionaires that you probably know. And some of them allegedly made trips to his island, which is thought to be the reason why Jeffrey is no longer alive anymore, but we will get mm. there eventually. Now, luckily for all the girls being held captive, Jeffrey's island was eventually raided by the FBI and Jeffrey Epstein was arrested. But sadly, Jeffrey would never have to face his crimes as he was found unresponsive in his jail cell before his trial. Mm. Now, there were many fishy details when it came to Jeffrey's fishy. passing, as the video surveillance in the jail when he passed failed and didn't record what happened. Also, the guards on duty at the time of Jeffrey's passing were charged with multiple counts of records falsification. Because of these weird circumstances, many people think that the billionaires that Jeffrey was friends with caused him to pass so that way they wouldn't be exposed during the trial. But that's just a possibility. So, because he passed away, there's no trial. Like, they're not going to pick it up and just... Because I know it's certain certain things where, say, if somebody not trying to press charges to state or the government to pick it up and press charges on whoever. So, just because he passed away, like, the whole case is nothing. Like, there's nothing, no leads, no, like, nothing's happening. It's over because he passed away. Y'all let me know in the comments if you're familiar popular internet theory at least for now this is wild we hear a lot about what jeffrey epstein has done but who was he let's take a look at his past jeffrey epstein was born on january 20th 1953 in brooklyn new york he came from a working class family his father worked for the new york city parks and recreation department and his mom was a stay-at-home mom and everybody who knew jeffrey epstein when he was younger only has good things to say about him they said he was a sweet guy, he was quiet and nerdy, and he even was given the nickname Epi as a child. Jeffrey also started playing the piano at the age of five and he was regarded as being a very talented musician. 
He eventually graduated high school in 1969 and then went on to university, but he never finished his degree. Mm. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So in the year 1974, Jeffrey Epstein starts teaching physics and mathematics at a local school. The headmaster of the school was known for hiring random people, and it's unclear how Jeffrey Epstein got hired, but he wasn't qualified to be teaching there. Right. And according to former students who had him as a teacher, he paid extremely close attention to the young female students. Obviously, all these girls were minors at the time that he was teaching since this was high school, but he was also known to show up at parties where minors were drinking and hang out with them. What? But eventually, through his teaching job, Jeffrey Epstein was introduced to this man, Alan Greenberg. Alan Greenberg was the CEO of the investment bank Bear Stearns, and his son and daughter attended the school that Jeffrey Epstein was teaching at. And eventually, once it was found out that Jeffrey Epstein wasn't qualified for the job and his performance was poor, he was fired, and he then was recruited by Alan to join Bear Stearns. Now, this is where Jeffrey Epstein moves into the financial world and starts making a lot of money. He eventually worked his way up the ladder at Bear Stearns, but was eventually let go because of a violation with his work. He then founded his own investment company, and this is where things get really strange. Jeffrey told friends at the time that he oftentimes worked for governments to help them recover embezzled funds, and he would also work for people who had embezzled funds. Mm. He also told some of his friends at the time that he worked as an intelligence agent. One fact that could point out that this might have been true is that Jeffrey Epstein had possession of an Australian passport with his photo on it, but a different name. His oh, wow. place of residence was also listed as being Saudi Arabia. This relates back to one of the later cases in Jeffrey Epstein's life when a U.S. District Attorney stated that they were initially told to leave Jeffrey Epstein's case alone because he was considered to be a part of intelligence. Mm. There are a lot of connections that do point to Jeffrey Epstein possibly being some sort of intelligence agent, but if you want me to cover some of those, I can make a whole different TikTok. Eventually, though, Jeffrey Epstein was this rich bachelor living in New York City. You can even look at one of these ads that was taking out about Jeffrey Epstein looking for a woman. <laughs> this is a very eerie ad considering what he went on to do with his life. And if you want me to talk more about Jeffrey Epstein's life, let me know in the comments below. Make a part two. You know these kids are kind of going places they never heard from again, right? No. Are you with me, sir? Can, can I ask what company you're with? No. No? What? You, you won't tell me? No. Okay. Why are you being so secretive? Don't worry about it, sir. Can you stop bothering me? Don't take a picture of me. You're not authorized to vote. I just take pictures of me. This is a public place. Hey, what company are you guys with? Where are you guys taking this kid? Wow. Is, is this your kid here? Sir, is this your kid? Hey, what? Quantos años? How old are you? It's okay. It's okay. Amigo, amigo. Amigo. Quantos años? Wow. Que, que país? Hmm. Wow. Hey, are these your kids? No? Hey, are these your kids, sir? What is going on, bro? Everything okay, sir? Bro, what is going on? What is going on, bro? What? What? You're right. How fucking terrifying that would be? That's terrifying. You know he knows about it. I mean, you walk right in, and bam, there's that painting. And now you kind of control a president. Holy mm. shit, dude. Holy shit. It's well, th that's crazy. That's 100% what they were doing. 100% what they were doing. Dude, I just don't even want to think about I don't want to think about all the, like, entities we'll never even know about that mm. ride presidents around like a fucking horse. I'm Jeffrey Edward Epstein, and my residence address is 6100 Red Hook Boulevard in Virgin Islands. Do you maintain any other residences presently? I have vacation homes in New Mexico, uh, Palm Beach, New York, and Paris. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Yes. 
What was the crime of which you were convicted? It, it two uh, counts, one uh, soliciting prostitution and procuring a minor for prostitution. Mm. Do you in fact commit those acts? I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right. How many wow. times have you solicited a minor for prostitution? Same answer. How many times have you solicited a minor for prostitution in the state of Florida? Same answer. Have you ever solicited a minor for prostitution in the Virgin Islands? Same answer. That is, the, you are invoking Look, your Fifth Amendment. Yes, sir. right. Yes, sir. I'm gonna fly to Epstein Island to see what it looks like. And maybe what? we can uncover what's happening there. So at the moment, nobody is allowed on the island. And everything is just still left there. Comment if you think Epstein is still alive. I'm gonna say probably yeah. I think it's that island over there. Okay, yeah, it's definitely this one. There actually has been some people who snuck onto the island. Look how pretty the water is though. That's crazy. Everything on the mountains and everything, it all looked good. But it's what happened underneath is what was crazy. They had the weird painted buildings. That's so cool that this game has it. I'm 18 years old, so this is I'm probably game. not even allowed here. I said we try landing. Um, I see some spots. Probably like on this little line here. All right, flaps out. We're going a little fast, but all right. I'm gonna smack down as hard as I can so we can get onto the island. There's the building. Oh, it really is a mountain. They got right, Epstein that's good. Island not on a game. Island. So if you don't know what actually happened on this island, um. Look it up or watch the documentary because I cannot explain it. Whatever you think happened on this island, you're probably correct. I think there was also like drug trading going on. Maybe that was El Chapo, I don't know. And make sure you follow me for more videos. It's a game where you can go to Epps. What? Oh my God, you're on Epstein's list. Uh, okay, so what? So it's over for you. You're going to jail. Really? Hey, expensive lawyers I pay millions of dollars for. What can we do for you? My name has been mentioned on Jeffrey Epstein's 943-page document in which I'm being accused of doing unsavory things on his private island. Would you say that's enough evidence to put me in jail? Huh. <laughs> Not on our watch. Cool. Mm. Thanks. Uh, okay, well, the people still know what you did, which means you're cancelled. Hey, <laughs> guess what? Ten-foot-tall gray aliens were just sighted in Miami, Florida. Mm. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, how could I not? It's all over Twitter and everybody is talking about it. Exactly. And just like that, one of the biggest conspiracy theories of the decade just became yesterday's news because somebody might have seen an alien somewhere in Florida. Hmm. Mm. I wonder if he was on the list. Yeah, okay, well... Huh. Distractions. Do you know? Do you know people that know Jeffrey Epstein? Yes. Oh, like yeah. Yeah, I do. Me too. And a lot of them, uh, it really was that. Uh, yeah. Talk, talk to him. Well, hung out a little bit. There's many people that feel like he was an agent, uh, and that he was trying to compromise people. And that's one of the things about this whole Lolita Island thing, is that they would compromise people. They would compromise people by having a bunch of young girls who are very sexy, who were hired to go and flirt and maybe even have sex with people and that these people were young uh, these girls were like 17 underage mm -hmm. perhaps underage some places perhaps not underage other places but in incredibly embarrassing and you know for for the people an agent compromise for whom who knows I mean there's a lot of a lot of thoughts but that's one of the things about when he got arrested the the was it the prosecutor or whoever it was that cut him the deal literally was quoted as saying I was told he's above my pay grade yeah. and that he was intelligence. No one mm. seems to know how he uh, made got his, his money. money. Yeah. Well, the fucking $70 million penthouse that he had in Manhattan was given to him. Right. Given wow. to him. Yeah. Who the fuck gives someone a $70 million wow. house? $70 million? Naomi was over at Epstein Island. Everybody knows that. And guess what? She ain't saying shit. And if I was her, I wouldn't meet her. She got a golden ticket with the information that she got. And if I was her, I'd hold on to it as long as I can. They can't pay that woman enough money. The things that Naomi Campbell knows, don't nobody, ain't nobody ready for that. That's Delilah. The woman that can do what no other man could do. Naomi Campbell's a very powerful chick. And I don't give a shit what no um, Janice Dickinson say. Naomi Campbell is is for real, for real, the first supermodel. And by the way, Naomi Campbell is the only woman on the face of this planet that Mike Tyson was ever afraid of. 
Mike Tyson actually had a restraining order on Naomi Campbell. That's how bad what? Naomi Campbell is that she scared Mike Tyson. I ain't never heard of that before. Some disturbing new allegations have come out about Epstein. So obviously for a long time there were rumors floating around that Epstein had tapes of celebrities that he interacted with assaulting minors. Now obviously these tapes would be very damning for people who were involved in them. Obviously right. actors, celebrities, politicians would be on these video recordings or audio recordings assaulting minors. Well, in 2016, this woman, Sarah Ransom, a victim of Epstein's and Ghislaine Maxwell's, claimed that these tapes existed. Mm. She claimed that these tapes involved Prince Andrew, Richard Branson, Bill Clinton, and many other celebrities and politicians engaging in acts with minors. Now, obviously, this is something that we know Epstein did. He recorded a number of... So, Epstein was recording a lot of stuff. Diddy was recording a lot of stuff. What you, is it any similarities in this Diddy Epstein thing? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Private spaces in his residences. And it's pretty well known and theorized that Epstein was gathering all this information and recordings to have as some sort of a blackmail against the powerful people he interacted with. Well, in 2016, Sarah Ransom claimed that these tapes actually exist. But then shortly afterwards, she retracted her claim. At the time, saying that she had invented this Epstein tape claim to just shine light on Jeffrey Epstein. But earlier this year on national news, Sarah came forward and said that her initial claim was true. What? Sarah, who was a victim of Ghislaine Maxwell's, actually stated that yes, this was true. The tapes did exist. They had celebrities and politicians on them. And then at the time that she made her first comment on this, Ghislaine Maxwell and her entire family had threatened to kill her if she kept talking about it. Ooh. So Sarah Ransom is actually closely tied into the whole Epstein story. She's claimed that Epstein assaulted her up to three times every single day when she was around him. What? And that she had been lured and trapped in this deceptive sex trafficking ring by Ghislaine Maxwell. Now that obviously leads to the Whoa. question, what happened to the tapes? Now I would assume that when authorities raided Epstein's residences, they took everything that he owned into their possession and they scoured his entire footprint across all types of media and social platforms and everything, they would have found these tapes. But there's been no public acknowledgement that they exist from any authority. Mm. I think all of this doesn't really make sense. I think there's a reason why they've never been released or even talked about. They might be protecting some people. But yeah, I mean, I, I totally believe that this could and probably is true. No tapes at all. Strange objects found in Jeffrey Epstein's house, along with the infamous picture of Bill Clinton in a dress. Jeffrey Epstein had some very strange items in his $71 million mansion in New York that were found after his arrest, including a collection of over 150 artificial eyeballs that were mounted on a wall that were reportedly placed there to let his staff know that they were being watched at all times. The what? New York Times reported that Epstein had a chessboard with human figurine pieces. Each one was modeled after one of his servants or a member of his staff. Other items what? found in the house include a life-size female female doll hanging from a chandelier, a pair of prosthetic breasts mounted on a wall in his bathroom, what? and various pictures of him with celebrities including Woody Allen, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, and the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. As reported by the Times, he also had a picture of a photorealistic prison scene, barbed wire, prison guards, and a guard station, with himself portrayed in the middle. This dude was weird, bruh. Oh shit.
Ain't no way. Uh-uh. This is the true story of the Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers are warlocks with the ability to shapeshift and become animals or people. Mm. They can not only take your appearance, but also clone your voice perfectly. The biggest Skinwalker sightings have been in Ohio and Arizona, but they are found all over the world. Bruh, is this Skinwalker stuff real? I've been seeing plenty of videos about Skinwalkers. What are they and are they really real or is it just like Bigfoot or something like that or the Loch Ness Monster? The preferred form of Skinwalkers is that of your pet. They take the form of your pet and enter yeah. your home and try to act like your pet to gain your trust and then they can take your life. Watch how in this video the boy realizes that his dog is a Skinwalker. Um... Let me see. I'll know if she's my dog. Merlin, sit. Turn around. Turn around. Lay down. You're not my dog. My dog don't know how to do no fucking trick. Uh-uh. The fuck? Call 911. Hey! Somebody! He said my dog don't know how to do no trick. Yeah, three tricks in a row. Car seat now. And he, let's see what his response is. What? Yeah, well, come on, buddy. Why are you going to do day? that to the kid? Good. Yeah? Cool. Why are you going to do that to the kid, man? You going to get in your car seat? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that to a baby, man? You're not real. You're not real. You're only made of moonlight. This definitely got to be a You're movie. so much smaller than I remember. That nigga was ugly as hell. So you should never try to play musical chairs alone. What's wrong with playing musical chairs? So apparently this is one of the most dangerous games. Like people advise others to never even try this. Obviously I have to try it. The time to play is between midnight and 3 a.m. Turn the lights know. off. I'm gonna leave a little bit of light on so you guys can see me. Hold a match in your hand. Don't light it yet. I basically have to walk around the chair six times total. If the music stops, which I really don't expect it to, I have to sit down as quick as I can and light the match. That means the game is over. If the music doesn't stop and I've completed the six circles, that means I have invited something into my home. To me, this sounds like a ritual. Mm -hmm. My one stipulation is we're gonna do this Phantomet style. I'm gonna put some paranormal equipment out just to see if anything happens. Oh, snap. Exact moment the guy is possessed by a demon. What the fuck? kids were singing to us when all of a sudden my daughter looked towards her room and got scared. <laughs> What's she looking at? in your house, bro? Mm -hmm. I go for a walk and I look up and I see my neighbors. What are they? Oh! Woke up to the sounds of a child crying and this is what I caught. I up and there's something over there crying. Something over there crying. Can I see that? Something? Can you guys hear that crying? No. Look, it's fucking moving. I don't see nothing. What the fuck is that? 
I don't see nothing. Let me back up. Yeah, I don't trust that. When you realize not your husband entering that. Hell nah. This video is the worst on the dark web. It says in the description that they are psychiatric patients who have escaped. The end is even worse. Psychiatric people that escaped. How did they escape if he tied up? How he opened the door? I'm just gonna back up on. What's so scary about this? Is that a frog? No fucking way. Since we finally have oh, an yeah, APU, don't need that. This is how I activate it. Gotta hold this for three seconds. One, two, three. There it is. For those of you guys who don't know, semi trucks, most of the times can be running, can be idling all night. A lot of semi trucks, not all of them, but most semi trucks have a system where once the truck is off, this right here, you can tell, press right here. You hear that? The truck is completely off, 100% off, but the APU allows for it to get hot or cold in here. But I got this little power inverter in here as well, which is what I use to connect my PlayStation. Oh, and I also got a brand new PlayStation, guys. Got a PlayStation 5, just updated it, finished doing all the updates. So now I can finally get to play. I got about eight hours before I gotta make this delivery and then I gotta go pick up one more pallet as well in the morning. Let's get comfy and let's game it up and eat some food before we gotta make this delivery. Somebody was banging on his door and he started talking about an APU unit. On October 25th of 2022, a paramedic posted a video of something freaky that occurred during his lunch break. The video is pretty short, so not much happens, but it's a certain detail caught in this footage that makes it quite disturbing. The video begins with the paramedic filming inside a hospital where a couple of surgeons are getting ready to transfer a very sick patient to a different wing. The paramedic walks out of the hospital to record them coming through. It isn't until later that the doctors arrive with the sick patient, who according to them, passed away only hours later. Mm. The paramedic then stops recording. Now, it was only after finishing work that the paramedic had watched this video and noticed something strange about it. Looking back at the footage, they noticed that during the time they were waiting outside for the doctors to arrive, something unusual was caught in the background. Take a look. Is that a black shadow back there? Oh, snap. Hell no. Nah. If you look closely at the hallway inside the hospital, a dark, shadow-like figure can be seen standing at the end of the hall. Mm -mm. It's there for just a few seconds before suddenly disappearing from sight. The paramedic has no idea as to who or even what this might have been, but judging by its appearance, viewers believe that an entity of some sort was seen. They further add that this entity might have been death itself, mm -hmm. considering that the patient in this video passed away that same day yet it's still not sure as to what was captured. But one thing that's certain is that whoever, or whatever this was, didn't seem to belong in this hospital. Right. It remains unknown as to who or what was caught on camera. Mm -mm. No way. On a Thursday afternoon, a mother walks out of a house in a panic frenzy, as it was just then that something baffling had occurred. Outside on the back patio, the family's dog started acting strange, 
they were barking at something that didn't appear to be there. Mm. Although unfazed by the dog's behavior, considering that they often do this in the back patio, the mother decides to record this video, and for good reason. Whenever their dog starts to act up, something very strange happens. As the mother takes this video to show others what usually happens, this is captured. Look, you guys, it rocks, but then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's no see way. if I could get it on camera. No way. There's like no wind. That's a <gasps> I know, Blue, someone's there, huh? I know, I know. Uh -huh. I don't know why it does that. It does it every time, you guys. This is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. Sick on Blue. Sick on Creepy, right? Katie, I guess they do have a ghost bit. Get him blue. I'm shutting the door. As many have stated, if it wasn't for the dog's reaction, this wouldn't have been as strange. Clearly, something yeah. had set off the dog. The chair suddenly stopping on its own, coupled with the dog's behavior, has led viewers to believe that this was paranormal. The mother who took this thinks so, but any ideas on what exactly had been on the chair remains unknown. Whether supernatural or not, this video remains a mystery. Hell nah. The Midnight Whisper. Red oh, Easer Mike is up around midnight after his family oh, now we got nuke. We have all went to bed. He suddenly smells a strange odor coming from the living room, and he suspects that one of the family pets might have urinated on the floor. But as Mike begins searching for the telltale puddle, something scares the absolute out of him. I might smell pee. Have I seen this one? I think I've seen this one. Mm -hmm. He said, hell nah. <laughs> he said, hell nah. No call my name. A small childlike voice seems to whisper, Mike, from somewhere nearby. I think I see this one too. Uh -huh. Mike just books it up the stairs, leaving his dog and his concerned little kitten in the background to wonder what the hell just happened. He said, hell no. Now, Mike says that he lives in an old 1850s house near the coast of Herring Cove, Canada. It has a slight bit of dark history, but he says that he's never experienced anything remotely paranormal before this night. Mm. In fact, Mike has never even made a single post about anything supernatural until this strange incident that literally sent him running. Hell no. Nah. He ain't say nothing either. He just left. All right, so that was creepy, scary TikToks, man. Conspiracy theories. It was a lot going on with the Jeffrey Epstein. It's a lot of unanswered questions with that. Like I said, so because he passed away, the case is over. Like nothing's nothing. No tapes, no lists, no. So nothing. Y'all gotta fill me in. Like, is that how it work? I don't know. Like, but it was a lot of creepy stuff going on with that guy. You know what I mean? A lot of weird stuff around that guy. Somebody gave him a $70 million crib in New York. If you made it this far, man, drop in the comments. You a real one for real, because that's what you are. Hey, till next time, man. Self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it.